In the previous video, we looked at how to evaluate the limit of a function using the L'Hopital's rule. And we said that for you to apply the L'Hopital's rule, direct substitution into the function should give you either 0 over 0 or better still, plus or minus infinity over plus or minus infinity. Now we also moved ahead and then we looked at the various indeterminate forms you may encounter when solving any problem. Now in today's video, we are going to focus on the products of functions such that direct substitution gives you or produces an indeterminate product. Now let's take up some examples. So for example 3, we want to find the limit as x approaches infinity of the function e to the power negative x times ln x. So first of all, let's try direct substitution. So we are going to input infinity into this limit. We have e to the power negative infinity times ln of infinity. Now e to the power negative infinity is 0 and then ln of infinity is infinity. Now you realize that if we multiply 0 and infinity, we don't exactly know what value this is. Now because we have the product of 0 and infinity, we say that this is called an indeterminate, an indeterminate product. We don't exactly know what the product of this is. Now, if direct substitution produces an indeterminate product, then we can manipulate the function such that we obtain a fraction. Remember that L'Hopital's rule only works for quotients. So how do we manipulate this fraction such that we obtain a fraction? So we say that the limit as x approaches infinity of e to the power negative x times ln of x can be written as the limit as x approaches infinity of ln of x divided by 1 over e to the power negative x. Now you can confirm your answer whether this what we have on the right hand side is equal to the limit we have on the left hand side. So let's say if you have ln of x that is divided by 1 and then you want to multiply that by the reciprocal of this you have e to the power negative x divided by 1 and then you realize that that is exactly what we have at the left hand side now let's proceed now looking at this same limit you realize that we can simplify this as the limit as x approaches infinity of ln of x divided by so you have 1 over e to the power negative x and you realize that you can simplify this as e to the power negative x times negative 1 and that is equal to e to the power x so instead of writing 1 over e to the power negative x we simply write e to the power x now let's do direct substitution at this point so if you want to do direct substitution, you have ln of infinity, which is infinity, divided by e to the power infinity, which is also infinity. So this time you have an indeterminate quotient. Hence, we can apply L'Hopital's rule to this limit. So applying L'Hopital's rule, we have the limit as x approaches infinity of ln of x divided by e to the power x and that is equal to so we differentiate both the numerator and the denominator so derivative of ln of x is 1 over x divided by derivative of e to the power x is still e to the power x so we simplify this as the limit as x approaches infinity of 1 over you multiply this by that and then you have x times e to the power x. At this point, let's try direct substitution. So we are going to have 1 over infinity times e to the power infinity. Now, the moment you realize that what you have at the numerator is likely to be different 
to what you have at the denominator, you need to know that L'Hopital's rule has worked and that you are not going to get any indeterminate form again. And so, this time, at the denominator, infinity times e to the power infinity is still infinity. So we have 1 over infinity. And then you know that 1 over a very large number is equal to 0. So we say that the limit of e to the power negative x times ln of x as x approaches infinity is equal to 0. Now let's move on to example 4. Here we want to find the limit as x approaches pi on 2 from the left of the function sec 7x times cos 3x. Now let's try direct substitution. Now you know that sec 7x is equal to 1 over cos 7x. So we have 1 over cos 7x. So x approaches pi on 2. So 7 times pi on 2 times cos 3 times pi on 2. And that is equal to we are going to have 1 over now cos 7 times pi on 2 is equal to 0 and then cos 3 times pi on 2 is also equal to 0 so you have infinity times 0 and then we don't exactly know what value it is so we have an indeterminate we have an indeterminate product now let's manipulate this function such that we have a fraction so we say that the limit as x approaches pi on 2 from the left of sec 7x times cos 3x can be represented as the limit as x approaches pi on 2 from the left of we can say that this is 1 over cos 7x times cos 3x. Or better still, we can simply write cos 3x divided by cos 7x. That is exactly the same thing. Now let's try direct substitution here. So with this, we have cos 3x or cos 3 times pi on 2 to be 0 divided by cos 7 times pi on 2 also to be 0 and then here we have an indeterminate quotient and so we can apply L'Hopital's rule. So applying L'Hopital's rule we say that this limit this limit is equal to is equal to now we are going to differentiate the numerator and the denominator so derivative of cos 3x is negative 3 sine 3x divided by we are going to have negative 7 sine 7x now at this point let's apply or let's do direct substitution so we are going to have negative 3 times sine 3 times pi on 2 divided by negative 7 sine 7 times pi on 2 now sine 3 times pi on 2 is negative 1 and then sine 7 times pi on 2 is also negative 1. So we have negative 3 times negative 1, which is 3, and then negative 7 times negative 1, which is also 7. Therefore, we say that the limit as x approaches pi on 2 from the left of sec 7x times cos 3x is equal to 3 over 7.